Hey everybody. I literally just this moment turned on the lights here in my fish rooms, my 55 gallon tank with my diamond tetras in it. In fact, the topic of this video is going to be my diamond tetras, but my big pleco is still out since it was nighttime up until just a moment ago. And so I always like to get a look at him or her before it decides to go hide up in the Anubius where it spends most of its time. So on to my Diamond Tetras. I shot a video the other day where I spoke about adding a couple of my Diamond Tetras back into this tank. They had spawned, I got some babies, I took them out, put them in my office tank upstairs which was open topped. I experienced some losses due to jumping and so I brought the remaining fish back here into the 55 gallon which they originally came from. And in that video I had said that one of my viewers pointed out that they believed the males were the ones with the more flowy and elaborate fins and the females were the ones with the shorter fins. And I wasn't so sure about that. I even suggested a little skepticism on my part and thought perhaps I had purchased some long fins at one point because I know I bought two different batches of Diamond Tetras. These did not all come from one purchase. And so I was under the impression that I bought long fins on one purchase and I bought, you know, the standard model on another purchase. And I had mentioned that in the video. Uh, fortunately, some of my viewers did a whole, you know, quick 10 seconds worth of looking up that I could have done but didn't bother. And pointed out that my original viewer was absolutely 100% spot on. The males have longer, more flowy dorsal, anal, and pectoral fins than the, I'm sorry, ventral fins than the females. Uh, we can get into some details like the males have thinner bodies and the females are fuller bodied. Those are always kind of tricky to tell. You sort of have to have a group of them to compare you know, who's got the thicker bodies on average, and so on and so forth. So those are kind of tricky. The other way you can tell is that the males have far more of the reflective and refractive scales that give them their name of diamond tetra. So the males are going to be a lot more sparkly, a lot more fire. The males also have a more sickle-shaped or arched dorsal fin, and their fins will have more of that sort of pinkish-reddish streaking uh, coloration, whereas the females have the shorter, uh, almost clear fins. So there you go. That is the sexual dimorphism between the males and the females of the Diamond Tetras. So as I said, my original uh, viewer who had pointed that out to me was spot on. And rather than doubting them, I probably should have taken five seconds and done a little bit of research and looked it up. But fortunately, my viewers did that for me. And now I know. So I gotta say, I've probably learned more from my viewers over the years than my viewers have ever learned from me. Maybe not collectively, but on an individual basis, I certainly get more information from you guys than I think you get from me. So I'm gonna say thanks for watching this one. I just wanted to get that out there before I got my day started. I'm off to work. Don't know what the rest of the day is going to uh, be like. So at least I got that done and done and now we know what the difference between the males and the females look like or I should say at least now I do apparently a lot of you already did so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe don't forget this one is my 55 gallon uh, well I used to call this my angelfish tank sorry this is just my 55 gallon tank and I will see you real soon on the next one